What up YouTube? My name is J.R. Smith and welcome to Evolving Medic. I'm preparing on entering medical school and if you're wondering how I got here, make sure you check out that first video where I give a little background on my story. Also, I'll take a look at my Instagram page if you're interested on my day-to-day -day life or basically just want to see me talk about how beautiful my wife and puppy are. I mean... Come on. I might be a little biased, but... Anyways, so I recently had the incredible honor of interviewing at the Mayo Clinic Alex School of Medicine. And whether you're planning on applying to medical school or just interested in what applying may look like, this video's for you. So I'll be making a future video going over some important tips to consider during the application process that I think really helped me. But basically there's three steps of the application process. There's your primary application, secondary essays, and the interview. The primary application is basically where you fill in all of your demographic information, you write your personal statement, um, you submit your letters of recommendation, your MCAT scores get presented, all of that type of stuff is uh, what the primary application consists of. And so once you submit that, then schools then send you secondary essays. And so these essays range from um, what are your thoughts on diversity or how can you add to the diversity of our school, hence diversity is important. <laughs> to topics of why our school in particular and these essays again can range from a hundred words to 500 words and some schools send one optional essay and some schools have seven mandatory essays um, and so this is really a school specific part of the application now after that then based on your secondary essays and your primary application a school may offer you an interview invitation now, getting an interview invitation is the major hurdle in getting into a medical school. Medical schools may receive upwards of 10,000 applications and they only choose a small fraction of those to send interview invitations to. In Mayo's case, they only sent roughly 300 interview invitations to their applicants. So, wasn't a math major, but I'm pretty sure that's close to nothing. But God hooked your boy up. You know, as I think about the goodness of Jesus and all that he has done. I was not planning on hearing back from Mayo. That was one of those reach, reaching schools when I was applying that I was just expecting to get an early rejection, but fortunate enough, blessed enough that they sent me that invite. Just landed in Minneapolis, uh, MSP airport. The journey begins. The day before my interview, I also had an incredible opportunity to meet and speak with a physician at Mayo. He's a neurologist and he's also a black man. And I say that because the AAMC recently reported that there's been a decline in the number of black men in medicine. And so I wanted to use this as an opportunity to be able to gauge his experiences being a black man in medicine, especially at this level that he is. Working at Mayo, he's very distinguished. And I won't go into the details of our conversation, but it was fire. <laughs> He really did an incredible job of inspiring me. He really inspired me and motivated me even more to pursue this as a career. So after this meeting, I returned to my host house and quick shout out to my host, he was incredible. When I got back, he offered to take me on a detailed tour of the campus and then followed that by taking me out to dinner. And it was incredible, really awesome experience. When we got back from dinner, I spent a few minutes reviewing my application, going over a few questions that may be asked by the interviewers. FaceTime my wife so I could ease the nerves, then it was bedtime. The morning of the interview, I woke up roughly an hour and a half before the interview started, spent some time getting, re getting ready, um, you know, you're in a suit and a tie, you have to make sure you're looking nice, you know, feel good, look good, or look good, feel good, I think it's that one, look good, feel good, <laughs> and then you'll perform well. After I got ready, I made my way over to campus, um, I got there roughly around 7.45, the interview day started at 8 and I was greeted by the admissions coordinator who then directed me to a conference room. Um, this is a good time to note that when you're applying for medical school, you're not the only applicant who's there at a single time. So schools often 
interview groups of applicants and in this case there were 12 of us so when the day technically started at 8 the admissions coordinator then handed out these folders to all 12 of the applicants um, and these folders had things like blank sheets of paper for taking notes our name tags that we had to wear um, a schedule of how we could expect the day to go, a magazine, things like that. And then the admissions coordinator went on to give a presentation of mail. Now following the presentation we had what they called free time and this was a time where we had it about an hour or so to kind of just walk around the campus and de-stress, think about things not related to our interview. So me and a few of the other applicants that I got close with just spent this time walking around, seeing some of the facilities that interested us. They gave us a map so we wouldn't get lost. And it was an amazing opportunity just to talk and think about things that were not related to the stress of an interview. So Mayo's formatting for the interviews are two traditional interviews. And so what that means is kind of what you think of when you think of an interview, a one-on-one -on -one talk with somebody else. and. Um, these lasted for roughly 30 minutes. Some of the applicants had a faculty member and a med student. Other applicants had two fa faculty members. I ended up having two faculty members. So when we came back from our free time, I had my first interview with my first faculty member. Now this first interview was incredible. It was very conversational. Uh, my interviewer wasn't bombarding me with questions. Um, he was very receptive to what I was saying. and I feel like we really bonded very well. After my first interview, we were given lunch, which was awesome, not only because free food, but because we were joined by a ton of medical students. And again, this is an awesome opportunity for you to be able just to talk to medical students and see what their ideas are and their perspective and their experience being a student at this school, because ultimately their experiences are gonna be very similar, if not the same as yours, if you were to go there. So it's important when you're making decisions to know how the medical students at that school actually feel. So this was an awesome opportunity to do that. There were students ranging from first years all the way through fourth years. And so we got a really comprehensive understanding of what it would be like to be a medical student there, which was great. Um, this was followed by a tour, a formal tour, which was given by a medical student, um, where the medical student just brought us through the hospitals and the facilities and really showed us in more depth what it's like to be at Mayo. After the tour, I had my second interview, which was just as amazing as the first. Um, my interviewer was extremely conversational. Um, we spent time not only talking about me, but about my interviewer. And it was just another amazing experience and really just goes to show the faculty that's present at the school, which I really appreciated. Following my second interview, the day wrapped up with a final Q&A where medical students and faculty members made themselves available if we had any other questions and things like that before we headed out. Being able to interview at Mayo was one of the most gratifying experiences I've had. Not only were the facilities and the faculty amazing, but the commitment to patient-centered care really inspired me and motivated me that much more to become a doctor. I can truly say wherever I end up going to medical school, I just cannot wait to get started. Let me know in the comments below any questions or thoughts you have about Mayo and make sure you hit that subscribe button and tap that bell because new videos will be dropping every week and I can assure you you're going to want to join me on this journey. Keep evolving and I'll see you guys soon. Good job.